Fuji, we're out here in San Francisco. You're homeless. Tell me about it. Well, we, were, we weren't homeless until we moved into the Baldwin House, which is a, the most merciful thing they can do for that place is to tear it down. I mean, it's roach infested, rats, bed bugs. The place is falling apart. You get a room there and, you know, people have had ceiling to ceiling, probably the ceiling fall down on their head. You know, uh, they won't fix it up. Is it like an SRO? Uh... No, no, it's owned by the Patels. So it's, it's a hotel? Yeah, but it's really, they call it a hotel, but it's an insane asylum. Yeah. You know, the, the management, like, uh, the garbage rooms, they don't, they hardly do the garbage for once a day. And it's overflowing, there's rats all over the back stairs. Uh, the bathrooms are all messed up. People use the toilet and then wipe it all on the walls. Oh, jeez. There's holes in the floors, there's holes in the ceiling. Uh, Man, it's just, a, it's just a total mess. So even being homeless is better than that. Yeah. So. Given a chance between the two, I'll stay homeless. But you told me that uh, when you uh, complained about it, you got evicted. Yeah. Well, that not only well, it wasn't so much about complaining about it as it was that I decided to stop paying rent. Yeah. I why why me, pay rent for something like that? Yeah, because they wouldn't. Pay, people were complaining about the rooms, and you know, like our our sink, our sink, you had to turn it on from the bottom in order for it to work. Wow. Uh, Didn't the health department or anybody come? They came, but they, I don't know. I, to be honest, I think somebody was getting paid. Because they came a few times. Quite a wow. few people called, and they came, and they never did anything about it. Wow. Yeah. So now how long have you been out on the streets? Uh, about three months now. Okay, and where are you sleeping at? Over by Refugee Church, over on Howard. So you're sleeping outside? Yeah. Shouldn't have to live like that. I know. Now how are you surviving? You'd... Oh, well... If I'm lucky, I can find some day-to-day -day work or, like, you know, friends come by, you know, they'll, they'll give us a little something. Yeah. You said you're trying to get a, looking for a new apartment, but it ain't easy. No, it's not. Everything's like, for, for a decent place, it's like $1,700, $1,800. That's crazy. You know, you can't find no, no decent place hardly around here anymore. It's, it's, it's within the amount of money you can afford to pay. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Uh, one would be, be to have a house so I could have my kids with me and my wife. And second would be for them to have a good education. And third one, I don't know, uh, be able to start some kind of business or something that would help others. Yeah. Great wishes. Yeah. Thank you very much for talking to me. You're welcome. You have a good day.